Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I'm going to get into another digital forensics video and what we're going to get into is how to see deleted files. So when a investigator comes up and you delete something off your computer, thumb drive, phone, whatever it may be, what it will look like, some metadata that comes out of that. So stuff like the, I'm going to be taking a look at, at pictures and we're going to be seeing the type of camera that was used, dates and stuff like that. Um, and, and this is very useful when it comes to investigative for, for police work. So as far as things goes, let's uh, jump on into it. I'm going to be using the following thumb drive. And um, so I just got some few random pictures that I've taken. Um, and and the, the, this is where I was working on a phone last night and, and using the phone to see something that's very, very, very small. That's actually a uh, paper um, towel in the background, so it might be able to see how small it is from that. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, delete all of those files, or, or at least the bulk of those files. So from here, what I'm going to do is go into the um, Pro Discover um, stuff that we've been using in the past. I'm using add capture uh capture and add image and what i'll do is go down to oh uh this thumb drive which i marked for evidence so from here what i'm going to do is choose local path and i'm going just to say um save that um as as the local path and, and do whatever for the rest of this i i, I don't care so from here on the bottom right, we can see it is capturing the image. So right now, cop came up. They said, I have a warrant for that thumb drive. They got the thumb drive. They brought it up to their investigator. Their investigator did all this. Now what? So their investigator got the uh, made a copy of the thing, of, of everything in it. So now what they're going to do is take a look at it and say, oh, uh, there is some files on here. All right, and, and, and say original look, you might say, oh, there's no deleted files. But if we go ahead and go to all files and, and just go ahead and press OK on that, we can see that we're under delete. There's a bunch of deleted files, interesting enough. Now, can we actually see these files? So top part is um, is is obviously where the files are, but bottom part is... Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called, but it's, it's basically where all the data is. So as far as that goes, what I will do to see the actual image is just right click and whatever. This is uh, where a uh, Martin actually died in the birdhouse and I had to clean it out and whatever so, uh, so the other Martins can come back and do whatever. Um, and, and I just wanted to take a picture of that so for future flaws and whatever. And um, so we can say, nope, that's not evidence. Uh, and, and take a look and say, oh, yep, yep, that's evidence. That's evidence into itself. Oh, the person took the wire from their company or whatever it may be. I don't, I don't really care what that crime is. But um, they say, oh, that's evidence and whatever it may be. And the person even tried to delete it and, and whatever it may be. So information they can grab down here is metadata like the we obviously got the type of file so the dot uh, jpeg uh, type of file but then what type of jpeg so we got that then the type of camera that was being used so it is a um if we look this up samsung and whatever it's a note three i believe that this is the Yep, this is the time, this is either time or time modified. Uh, th this is date and time. Yeah, I think it is date and time. And then what we have is the um, time modified, I think. And so on, so on, so on. Um, there's stuff in here. Um, I don't know if I had it on this particular picture where it was save on location, but if it, it said location whatever it would be on here so if you knew what you're looking for and and where to look for it then um 
you can actually probably find it in the picture. So say, for example, if you wanted to know, uh, if, if, if you, there was a picture of someone dead in the street, like say, for example, a hitman took a picture of their target um, after they killed it so as proof of, hey, the person died. Well, what would end up happening is that if it was geolocated, it would be in here. So they can get, they can obviously get the, camera type they can obviously get the time it was taken they can obviously get the location it was taken at and maybe some other information that might be relevant to the case unrelevant to the case you can get things like the exposure quality the the iso the color the blah the this the that but all those things are highly unrelated to the uh, case obviously in this case being uh, made up case but still it, it would be highly unrelated now as far as that goes um you know that's that it's like i mean right here we, we have this and we can actually see what the image is oh it's the uh a wire and whatever oh it must be a bomb or whatever it's uh for those of you who are wondering what that is it's a um uh antenna cable for a note three as helping someone with working on that but anyways as far as that goes that's pretty much that now as far as hillary clinton's deal because um i figured i might as well bring this one up i got to pass on how, what is bleaching how's bleaching done and master tables and stuff like that so let's quickly explain that in case you don't want to watch that whole video on all devices hard drives uh, mechanicals, SSDs, uh, saucer drives, uh, thumb drives, whatever it may be, there is something called a master table. What happens is, is when you delete something, it is earmarked and said that this is okay to be written over. So from there, what happens here is when it, 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 something else needs to be written, um, it will write over that part. So that's, that's fairly important to note. Um, now, Thing to, it's also important to note is also drives have a limited amount of uh, rights. Uh, mechanical hard drives theoretically don't have limited rights, but um, with that being said, there is tools out there called data shredding. I, I actually even show it in some of my past videos, bleaching whatever it may be, and it's basically where you delete something and the system keeps writing over it so many times the department of defense in the united states recommends that you write over something seven times at minimum i personally go for hundreds because the some people they write over entire hard drives i don't care to do that i just do individual files so it, it 100 times is nothing um especially if it's small enough uh, it, it, at most it might be 10 seconds uh, but if I was doing a whole hard drive that would be an entire different story and that would be a nightmare to itself so with that being said that's how that was done now here's the thing is how did they get the information off of it well the bleach the person who sat at the bleach he actually went on reddit and asked if there was a way to, um, which is a form site, as a way, if there um, is a way to modify the emails that were in the server. They said they had a very important client. They actually even put down all caps right there and said, is there a way to modify emails in the server? And um, someone mentioned, no. Uh, oh, there, there is, but it's easier just if, if, if you just want to go that route, you might as well just wipe it as far as bleaching. It. And the person's like, How do you do that? And, and so this person was highly inconfident. I would imagine because he, he was so inconfident that to start with, like, uh, it was probably some freelancer or some Joe Blow IT guy that got the job because he knew someone not because what you known and not because of merit he uh he probably was picked up by hillary and said um, here do this and and he had to find out what to do it and he didn't know what he was doing so i imagine that's probably where why the 
bleaching messed up. Whereas if she went with someone actually worthwhile, uh, morals are in question still, but someone worthwhile, they uh, they would bleach it and there's no way that the anyone will be able to look into it. And um, that'll be that. Um, uh, unless if something like the NSA or, or something else add copies of this stuff anyways. So with that in mind, that's probably what happened there um, is that his incompetence, he probably ran through it once and said, oh, it's bleach. When Department of Defense even says seven times, and even that is not, um, you know, all there. Uh, now, as far as that goes, I want to mention this. Her, uh, them saying FBI uh, Comey saying that, oh, she's innocent, even though she, she, he even clearly said she did this, this, and this, and this, but she's innocent because of intent. No, that law is very specific. It doesn't matter your intent. It's, it's, um, so it's speeding. Okay, if you're speeding because there is a tornado behind you and you're breaking in and out of way of that, that law is a tent. Murder, that law is a tent because um, uh, self-defense is uh, you murder someone because you're defending yourself. Well, the fact of the matter is, is you know, it's self-defense. So that's a tent. This law and, and a lot of these government regulation type of laws with for government employees, they are not a tent. If you break them, I don't care if it's good or bad reasons, you broke the law. And it's a federal law. And she should have went to jail for that. And they could still prosecute her today for it. What, what I'm hearing is they didn't prosecute her because they're collecting even more information on her. And they're going to prosecute her for all of it at one time. Because thing to note is uh, while you have a limited amount of time and resources, the government is pretty much a limited amount of time and resources. It, it is up to their choosing and time to prosecute. That's what I'm hearing. But, uh, but I want to make it very clear that she, it, it, she broke a law. There's no two, two ways around it. Whether it was ignorance or not, it was, it was a broken law. And, and that, that would mean jail time. So as far as that goes, uh, and, and, and also the ability to not be able to run, because once a person breaks a federal law, they cannot run for president. So, and, and I'm thinking that's more on why, what happened, um, why she got uh, away for now. Note that they can come back later because Comey's not a judge. And, and if it was a judge saying it, then double jeopardy. But since he's not a judge, they're saying, oh, we're not going to prosecute and whatever it may be. So with that being said, I just want to note that because this highly relates to that and, and how they they went about that. So if you're going to delete something, make sure you pay the right people. So anyways, as far as that goes, joking aside and whatever. Um, if you got any questions, anything else, let me know in the comment section. If you want me to cover more of these type of videos, then let me know in the comment section. I'll try to do it as, uh, as best I can. Uh, but anyways, as far as that goes, uh, see you in the next video. Hope you have a great day.